Amanda, you had that accident earlier this morning that was pretty dramatic. A car wedged under an 18 wheeler? And that's exactly what happened. And the good news is um, there were no serious injuries. Uh, we know that crews are working to get this cleared out as quickly as possible. David, I've been not only looking at Julie's live picture that she's showing us on southbound 35, but what? Oh, there they go. The tow truck is now pulling away from the scene. And you can see that vehicle that was wedged underneath the semi is on the bed of that tow truck. Heavy uh, damage to that car, unfortunately, and it looks like they will most likely be getting ready to reopen those lanes on southbound I-35 here very shortly as Julie kind of zooms her shot out. You can see the front end road is certainly stacked as drivers kind of seek an alternate route around the delays that are stretching all the way over into Pflugerville. Look at this tech stock camera of the backup on southbound I-35. This is near Wells Branch Parkway. Already stop and go crawl there. Uh, hopefully we'll see this kind of alleviate as that scene uh, clears out in the next 10 minutes or so. If you do drive in from Williamson County, North Austin, or Pflugerville, you may want to think about sticking to southbound Mopac, maybe even Lamar. Uh, you have Dessal Road, A.W. Grimes from Round Rock, SH-130. So you do have some options to beat these delays. We'll have